Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I hope you're excited for this. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for so long to finally be able to try out this kit. It's actually been probably like four months by now, so be prepared. I have a feeling this is going to be epic. I already prepped my nails, so I have gel on and I filed them down to a coffin shape. If you wanna just do this on your natural nail, absolutely fine as well either or whichever one you would like to do i'm gonna just go grab the nail kit um because i just finished with my makeup so i figured just do makeup first step one and then we can get started on this so this is called the modelones i think is, is what that is you're also going to need a uv light so make sure you have that i have to shape one of my nails some more get it down a little bit smaller they're just a little tiny bit too long so i'm gonna file them down just a smidge more okay so i'm gonna just grab our supplies and i'll see you guys in a second got my tools forgetting something what am i Paper towel, I need a paper towel. Got my paper towel. And I put that down so that way if anything drips or if there's just a mess, it's not going to hurt my surface. So I'm actually filming from two different cameras. I have my phone down here. So that way you guys can get a different view so you can see my nails a little bit up close more. Let's just go ahead and get started. Like I said, I do need to file down one of my nails. One thumb is too long, so <laughs> I need to fix that. I also decided to grab a buffer because I think this is a super easy handy tool. Future Victoria popping in for just a second. I have to say a little disclaimer that this is not a tutorial. <laughs> I want to make that clear. It's definitely a first impression. So this is kind of an over overview of what's in this kit, how to do this, but it's more of an experience that you guys can join me on on how to try this out because I've never done this before. If you don't want to spend tons of time filing, if you just have your natural nail, you can just buff them so you won't have to file. Let's actually open this <laughs> and see if we even need to file. I'm pretty sure that you do. Here's the kit. You have a top coat and a base coat, which I find is just so, so handy, you guys, because you need that if you're going to do gel polish anyways. So if you got this kit, you're already set up for success and you have basically 50% of the things that you need to do gel nails. The other 50% would be like the color, I guess. Maybe not 50%, whatever. Anyways, this is super, super handy and I actually am almost out of my top coat, so I'm so, so thankful to have um, another one of those. What are these? There's just, there's so much in here. Oh my goodness. So I don't, I don't know why I chose this kit. My amazing, amazing angel husband bought this for me for Christmas. Oh, I'm so excited. I thought these were all like flames. Most of them are flames. But there's one that has, oh, I'm so excited. Why couldn't they do these designs on like every single one though? That's what I was about to say, you guys. It's like, I don't know why I chose this kit that specifically it was like flames. <laughs> Can you kind of see like the flame outline on that a little bit? There's little stickers. Almost all of them, like there's this color. This is the rainbow. There's that one. This one has like a galaxy. This is more like a pastel rainbow. I don't even know what you would call this one. <laughs> There's like this yellow, orange, neon. Neon is so in this spring and summer, so that one's super fun. That one is like super pastel. This one is my favorite, the like unicorn rainbowy pastel, not pastel, the unicorn rainbowy translucent deal. Anyways, I found these two. You guys, I'm so pumped. So there's this one, which I love blue. This makes me think of Elsa, actually, but that has like pretty little arrows, just some kind of cool abstract designs. And then this one is like orange. There's a little bit of peach, but there's butterflies on this one and flowers and like leaves. I just wish that they would have given more designs like this, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure that this one is glow in the dark, I think. Let me, let's look. I guess it doesn't say. I might need to just go look on Amazon and see if that one is glow in the dark. I might try that one on my friend. I don't think I'm gonna do that on me because I kind of already know what I want to do. My husband told me my hair is like, I get so distracted. Oh my gosh. He made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! 
Oh, my husband told me to pick a fun color. I usually go for like really basic colors most of the time, but for this one, let me just show you guys all the colors that we have and then I'll tell you which one I'm gonna do today. So pretty. Okay, so the one that we're gonna do is this fun rainbow one right here. And I'm actually, I'm actually pretty glad that I did long nails. This time, this is really long for me. Like this is very, very long. I'm glad that we're doing the long ones because we might actually get more of the like rainbow on there. That's super fun. There's also these two things in here, which I don't know what these are. So let's open it. Nail foil, nail glue. So this is the nail glue. So you're gonna file, style, and cut your nails how you want them. So like I said, mine is in the coffin shape. We do need to file them. Still, we've been chatting and learning, so we haven't done that yet. And then you're going to apply the base coat and cure it in the LED light. And I'll link this down below. It will be an affiliate link, so if you wanna buy it through me, that'd be awesome. Um, or you can go on Amazon and look for one that you would like. I've done a lot of research and love love this one, but of course that is always up to you. Oh, it wants us to apply a gel polish. Oh, I don't wanna do that. We're not gonna do the gel polish. You can apply a base color if you want underneath, but I feel pretty good about not. Let's see what's in this other one. Oh, another nail, oh, so you have two, cool, okay. Wow, so they give you two of those. That is so generous. Wow, I'm actually really impressed that they give you two. I think that's super nice. I feel pretty confident that this one's glow in the dark, so hopefully when my friend comes over this weekend, she'll let me put this on one of her nails. She's pretty adventurous and artistic, so I'm sure that she probably will be fine with that. I kind of want to do like a little butterfly. No, we'll do it. We'll do it another time. I love how holographic these are. I think that's just like so, so pretty. Update on our like list of things that you're going to need. Scissors, UV light, nail file or buffer, cuticle pusher, and scissors. <laughs> you're going to need scissors too. I'm going to go really quick and just file down my nails. Then we'll meet back to start the process process of this super super fun bold nail. So let's just take our UV light out of the bag. First and foremost, I'm going to set everything aside. I have this little rubber cuticle pusher. You can get something like this at the Dollar Tree, you guys, but that is going to be super super handy for today. I'm going to take this out, set this up, and then we're going to cut strips of the foil for our nails just to prep. This UV light is set at a timer and it's also an automatic one, which is so handy because if you just stick your hand in, the light turns on. So that is so, so convenient. Okay, you guys, let's just, let's begin with cutting some little strips. So like I said, I'm gonna do this rainbow one because that's the one my husband told me I should do because he thought that would be fun. But look at those, like with the holographic designs. I really want to do the one with the stars or the blue one. They're so pretty. You get like a lot. That's a lot. That's at least like maybe three feet, two feet. You know, I heard you can do this with like gum wrappers, like mint, like big five gum. You want to make sure you get enough to where it's going to wrap entirely around the nail. First, let's go ahead and paint on this base coat. Seriously, only got two hours of sleep last night because I was so excited about this. Oops, let's move that away from it. You don't want to have gel polish near the UV light when it turns on. Next, we're going to do the foil glue. Now this one, you have to be careful. I'm gonna try to be super precise with this. If I can get it open. Okay. Ooh, this is super like thick. Just wanting to be careful. Oh, I want to make sure to get some on the ends there. Okay, let's cure this. Are we just wait? It's good to make yourself a fun drink beforehand. This is an energy drink. Beach bodies energize. Ignore the lipstick on the straw. <laughs> There's just one brand of pre-workout though that I really, really want to try. Alana New. Have you heard of them? One of my good friends, she is like obsessed with this brand. She has like all of the flavors of the protein mix and the pre-workout and stuff, and I've really been wanting to try it. I'm gonna grab some tweezers, you guys. I think that's gonna help the application process. So, oops, don't turn on. Excuse me, thank you. Just have to place it on there. I'm just gonna tap it on with my fingers. It's 
just like really push it in there. I don't really feel like it's sticking like as well as it should. Oh, that looks crappy. What? I'm so disappointed. Look, you guys. Yeah, that didn't stick hardly at all. How bizarre. I guess we'll just try it again on a different nail. Let's base coat this baby. It's not sticking again. This one looks crappy too. I guess we're gonna go get a new polish color. I wasn't expecting to do that. I don't know what color I would choose. You know what? I'm just gonna go get a random one. I'll post which kit this is from. It's like a purpley gray. That's actually a really pretty color. They show black in like the sample dealio, but this is like a darker color anyway, so this will be fine. Oh, hey, they're using my color in the example. <laughs> cool. I'm realizing that doing like this ombre design, this rainbow ombre is actually making it more challenging because if it was a solid color design like those other ones, it would be a little bit more forgiving as far as if you like messed up or something. Oh my goodness, what am I doing wrong? This is so frustrating right now. Pushing it against the nail. Some parts are sticking. Like what? <sighs> Will it like stick if I put on more? So it'll stick. It just didn't want to stick. I mean, that looks really cool. I could have like a really unique design, but I want to, I want it to look like how the design looks. You know what I mean? These are what the other two look like though. So I'm not quite digging that too much. Maybe we should just try a different color. Let's do the pink, pinky rainbow ones instead. Okay, base coats again. Alexa, play Taylor Swift's new song. Here's Only the Young, featured in Miss Americana by Taylor Swift on Amazon Music. So here's what we've done. I kind of decided this one is a little bit too fall vibes, a little bit too Christmassy. Gives me the vibes of like leaves, which is so pretty, so pretty, but I don't like that since it's almost spring, you know? Spring is coming very soon. Valentine's is right around the corner. So I cut a piece instead of the ombre, like blue, pink, red, and we're gonna do that one instead. So I'm gonna switch it and do actually like the red, pink. But I don't know why this isn't sticking like it should. We're gonna try it again. <laughs> if any of you have done this and you know how to make this like for sure stick how it's supposed to, like how they show in the instructions. Let me know, but if it doesn't, then we're just gonna do like a collage like we did on the middle finger and we'll roll with that because I still think it's pretty doing like a collage of all the colors. But we're definitely gonna file these ones off and then start over. Please just stick. I'm being more aggressive this time. I am so frustrated. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ugh, I want to like this so bad. But this one, like, okay, to be fair, it's stuck, which is like, thank you. And I did like faster motions instead of like being gentle. I was like, boom, 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 boom. And oh, see what you guys think. It's like, <clears throat> I'm going to file. It looks like good. No, it doesn't. It looks dumb. I'm so frustrated. And we're starting over. Hey. Hi. You missed it. I just filed off this kind of cool collage thing, but it still looked. <clears throat> what you do that for? Like what? Flowery. Very flowery. It's the candle. Your shirt matches your name. That one didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed a little bit about it, to be honest. This is what happened the first time. I'm like, why won't it stick? Boy. It was supposed to be like, it like wouldn't stick. And so then I tried it again and the same thing happened. Watch it. We're just going to do something different. My husband got home and I was like, <laughs> told him my first world problem sob story about how I couldn't get my nails to do what I wanted them to. <laughs> We're just gonna do something fun and unique, I guess. We'll do a collage of some pretty colors and I think it'll be fun and exciting all the same. I'm gonna try something just like really quick. I cut the piece in half. So I have the bottom piece and then the top piece. So what I'm gonna do is let's just do like that okay why is it like working really good now oh that didn't i'm gonna go over it and like re-stamp it stick 
like one we did earlier didn't look too bad compared to this now. The other half. I'm gonna just try another one. We're just gonna go for it, I guess. My palms are so sweaty. Check it out, you guys. I got one almost right. <laughs> One of them turned out decent. I think they look pretty cool. I'm just gonna top coat them and seal them in place. Okay, so the top coat is on. Ooh, and those, oh, I just, oh, I love when you can finally get the top coat on and then you just don't have to worry about it anymore. Now my battery is low. I should have been charging it while I was finishing up my nails. Okay, they're done. I think these are so much fun since Valentine's is right around the corner. They were so challenging to do. This is probably one of the most difficult nail kits that I've ever done. And granted, they're really beautiful. I just like honestly thought it would be so much simpler. I'm just thinking, yeah, like paste it on and you're good to go. But it really takes a lot more than that. And you know what you guys, I even went and watched some YouTube videos like while I was putting this on. I'm like, it can't just be me. Like, am I the only one that's struggling with this? I need to know. And I'm not. I watched a few videos and there was even this one woman who was showing this exact kit and she used a little silicone thing like I was doing and she just did like a voiceover and so she said like, oh, just paste it on the thing. And then when she tore it off, she changed what she was saying and she's like, well, I like this scattered look so we just keep pasting it. And I just thought like, I kind of feel like she didn't know that that was going to happen. So she was like, covering up maybe she does really like the scattered look i don't know but i think she was going for like the full pattern and it didn't stick just like it did for me it definitely creates like a really fun design and you use up a lot like this thing is all gone and you can kind of reuse some like i could have still reused this one and where there's like still some coloring so you can still like reuse some of the pieces I might be able to get another full set out of this strip but i am not convinced so maybe it might be like a pretty accent nail or to add on to others but i don't know maybe i could get another full set out of it i want to do a last step which is putting on this stuff this is something i got and i think like a boxy charm it's a strengthening oil so you can use anything like olive oil or i don't know anything like that just to kind of give a little bit of what's the word like moisture it kind of makes them shine and gives your cuticles back a little bit of hydration that's the word that I'm thinking of let me show you guys what this looks like up close for the final look keep in mind my nails are gonna be a little bit oily I think they're so much fun they're very different I'm really really excited to try out the other ones and I I don't know maybe if I keep using these or just get more practice like maybe it'll get easier still really disappointed I couldn't like paste on the full ombre like gradient designed color whatever you want to call it one thing I did notice is that right when you paste it on the glue is so tacky you paste it on there and then you go to peel it off and it like strings so maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I still think it's super fun. This is kind of like everywhere. Definitely not a tutorial. I might just post a warning like in the beginning. Like this is not a tutorial. This is the first impression. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would absolutely love that. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified when I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hope to see you guys back again very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah. What do you think of my nails? They're almost like a metallic -y purple pink. Very cool. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. You can be honest, you know, if you like something else. It wasn't the color I picked. I know. <laughs>